My name's Harry Morton. I run a company called Lower Street. We are a premium podcast production agency and we help um, high ticket consultants, SaaS businesses and some enterprise companies as well to produce best in class audio content. So my business finances before starting the course were really, um, it was reactionary rather than proactive. So I was, I was um, kind of paying my expenses, paying my contractors, um, trying to maximize my margin as much as possible. But, but basically at the end of the day, just looking at how much money was left in my bank account after all of the expenses uh, and contractors were paid and kind of trying to figure out how I would, you know, uh, divide that up between my tax bills and paying myself and, and also growing the business. Um, so it was, uh, it was, everything was on the back foot. I wasn't kind of, um, on the front foot at any point with my finance until, until sort of time, um, taking the course. Yeah. I think the benefits that I got from the course round around the reporting piece and understanding what those reports are. So what is a PNL and how do you use it to make decisions? What is a balance sheet and, and how often are you checking that and why? Um, and all those kind of really kind of business basics that, that you would learn if you went to business school like a smart person rather than just kind of started a business in your uh, in your attic. So um, all of that kind of stuff has given me a broad overview of the kinds of things I should be looking at and, and an understanding of what they mean. Starting on a really granular level um, was breaking down our chart of accounts into something more specific that was really kind of targeted to, to really help me understand where our expenses were going as it relates to specific client projects or you know, areas of the business. And so that was um, you know, just a really easy thing to do that has actually made a real difference in the way that I'm kind of looking at, at, our, at our finances. A lot of people are talking about profit first and I'd heard this term a lot. Um, but never really thought about how it would apply to my business and how I'd implement that. And while we haven't yet fully implemented it, it's definitely now on my on my roadmap. And once 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 I have a really solid understanding of our reports and a really great working relationship with our new bookkeeper, then I'll be looking to move into into that kind of system where again we can be more proactive with our finances and and, um, and not reactive. So. Yes, I would definitely recommend the course to to anyone um, that. Has a, is running a small business um, and that doesn't have kind of a traditional business background. If you didn't go to university to study business, if you don't have an economics background, um, it's really easy to just get by um, with your tax accountant who will kind of manage all of the, the technical stuff, which is the case for me, um, and sort of trust that that's all being managed. And then, as I say, just reactively managing what's left in your account. Um, I think if you don't have that kind of business background already, it's really important to have a, a, just even a basic understanding of financial systems and how they affect decision making in your business. Um, so I would, I would recommend anyone that um, is the same as me to, to do that.